Hello and welcome to finals day at the FIVB Beach Volleyball Fortaleza Open. What a week it has been at this vibrant, cultural and spectacular beach city in the northeast of Brazil. Yes, the World Tour returns to this fabulous beach volleyball haven that is Fortaleza for the first time since 2007. And they have got plenty to cheer about the Brazilian fans because, as you can see, just about to take to the court, or already on the court, I should say, are the two Brazilian pairs who will fight out for the gold medal in the final of this Fortaleza Open. It's Elise Maia. And Duda will take on Juliana and Lima. A few of the uh, fans just going for a little bit of a lunch or a bite to eat. And having to rehydrate as well. It is beautiful conditions right next to the Atlantic Ocean, as you can see there. 34 degrees is the temperature. Sand is pretty boiling hot as well, although they keep watering it down just to keep it cool. And the wind has been considerable 30 kilometers an hour but down at court side it's not so bad because of the way that this arena is built it tends to shade the players a little but it does affect the play somewhat well you can see there by the flags and just how firmly they are flying just how strong the wind is it's not the type of place you want to lie down on the beach without a wind rack yeah wind is that strong Well, it's a place that has produced so many top talent, Tid players, Fortaleza, in the home of beach volleyball in Brazil. And the fans are loving every moment of this, and they're going to enjoy every second of this final between two Brazilian teams. It's a tough one to call as well. The fourth seeds up against the fifth seeds. And they have to make the fourth seeded pairing of Juliana and Lima favorites just with their experience not necessarily together as a pair but their experience in terms of individually in gold medal matches throughout their career but having said that Elise Maia and Duda won recently in Brazil in at the uh, Maiseo Open so there will be a, a real test for Juliana and Lima as we take a look at the officials Lucy Guilamete and Giselle Amantino from Brazil they wouldn't usually have a, a referee from the nation if you've got one of the teams in the final, but the fact is, two Brazilian teams, doesn't matter. Compet is always a lively fellow. It's ready to announce these two. What an experience this will be yet again for Duda. So it is uh, Eduardo Santos Leboa, otherwise known as Duda, 17 years of age, five seasons on the world tour, looking for her second gold medal already. She's been guided throughout this tournament and throughout the last few weeks and months by Elise Maia. It's her eighth season, 16 tournaments in total on the World Tour. But she's having the most of her success with her 17-year-old partner. They've won one gold, one silver, one bronze so far throughout their time. This is their third final together on the World Tour. Can they pick up another gold? It's going to be tough for them, though, against these two. Juliana and Lima. Boy, didn't they have to fight hard late last night to scrape past... Their Brazilian opponents, Rebecca and Lily, who won the bronze just earlier. Juliana, one of the greats of the game. She's not shy in coming forward, is she, either? This is her 73rd final, incidentally, for Juliana. She's got 48 golds to her name, 47 on the World Tour. 
playing with a player who's also lit up beach volleyball courts all around the world as well, Lima. It's her 12th final. She has eight goals, six on the world tour, looking to add a seventh. Will the experience of Juliana and Lima tell? Or will it be the youth of Duda and Elise Meyer to come through? Either way, one thing's guaranteed, it should be fascinating. So it's uh, Duda and Elise Meyer who are in green as we take a look at some of the wind sports you can do around here. It's fair enough, the wind. And adrenaline junkies around in this part of South America. So yeah, it's uh, Duda and Elise Meyer in green. Juliana and uh, Lima in blue. It's that uh, Lima to serve, who really raised her game when it mattered most at the back end of the third set. Just great past Rebecca and Lily. It's a match that they easily could have lost. They only won the second set by two points when they were nine points up at one stage. Got a couple of net cords off the serve in a row at a crucial stage in the second set. Got them into this gold medal matchup, which is going to be very tough to call. Nice little knuckle short from Lima. Such control. Haven't actually done that well together as a team as of yet, Juliana and Lima struggled this season, finished ninth in uh, Vitoria, 17th in Rio, and ninth in Machio. But they've got their act together here in Fortaleza. They're a team that I think everyone thought was going to gel and win a lot quickly. Not quite worked out that way so far, but will this gold be the start of a long run together? It's a great diving dig by Duda. She was everywhere in her semi-final, was the standout player. But again, Juliana and Lima are able to press that reset button. Look at this, fingertip stuff, and then on the dive on the dig, keeping it alive. It's a stunning bit of play. And Lima, though, more clinical with the second attempt. Juliana now just nudging the ball down the line. Lima with a crunching, jumping serve. Judah trying to finish the point off and does. Thought it would be close, and I think it's safe to say this first set likely to be that way. Even start. High reception. Juliana now going to attack this one. Straight to Duda. Slaps it down the line, but it's wide. Space down the line there, and that will be seen as an error from the 17-year-old. They've won one final, lost one final. Elise Meyer and Duda together. They lost the final of Puerto Vallarta Open in the back end of last year. Bounced back to winning my show. So they certainly know how it's done. That was a lovely bit of touch. Juliana, bit scrappy, brilliantly done. The reverse set from Lima on the dive. And it was near perfect for Juliana. That is supreme beach volleyball on the experienced pair. Of course, when I say experienced pair, I mean individually. Going 
falling short. Underneath it is Elise Meyer. With the angle. And right underneath it is Lima. This one to Duda. And get the block up. Juliana is able to just disrupt it. But quick thinking from Duda. Just to nudge it behind. Both Juliana and Lima into the open space at the back of the court. It's a real ding-dong battle at the front. Great awareness here. It's a real scrap. Both teams fighting hard. So quick to think of the opportunity and pounce on it. Juliana cushioned by Elise Meyer. Duda can only get it over the other side of the net rather than set her teammate up. This is another fascinating rally. There's plenty of them in these opening exchanges. And it's Elise Meyer who finishes the rally off. Better defence, you have to say, on the whole there from Elise Meyer and Duda. Juliana. To Lima. It's a little close to the net. And the point will go to Lima and Juliana. Look here, maybe just touching the net. Yes. Elise Meyer, the culprit. where the space was. A bit of a miscommunication from Lima and Juliana. Both of them finding themselves on the left side of the court. And easy pickings in the end. And that separates Elise Meyer and Duda. in it then in this opening set as it is Lima's turn to fire it wide to level the scores again at eight all short serve from Elise Meyer Juliana now that's big and it's into the corner The long run up and a terrific angled spike. No chance for their Brazilian opponents on that one. Neither team can really get away from one another at the moment. Both teams continuing to side out. Lima, a dangerous serve, but straight to Duda. Has the opportunity to put this one away and does going down the line on the middle of the court. So going down the line, it's the open area. Duda and Elise, my, both six foot. Considerable few inches on their opponents today. It's Elise, my, backs off from the net. Lima though, the power of the spike enough to carry it past her opponent as we hit the technical timeout. Juliana and Lima who lead by 11 points to 10. Just a reminder that the, the men's gold medal match will also follow this one. 1 p.m. local time. Erdman and Matic against uh, Oscar and Andre. 
Brazil guaranteed all the medals in the women's section after Lily and Rebecca won a, a few moments ago in their bronze medal matchup. Of course, this one, two Brazilian teams, so they've got gold, silver, and bronze. Fabulous tournament for the Fortaleza crowd here. Lise Meyer, incidentally, is, uh, born, was born in uh, Vitoria. Duda in uh, Espinosa, now lives in uh, Belém. Lise Meyer, incidentally, lives in Rio. But uh, Juliana, born in Fortaleza, lives in Fortaleza. Lima was also born in Fortaleza, but lives in Rio now. So there's so much interest from these fans here. They love Juliana. That's why just giving a little more support for the more experienced pair. Of course, they've won more as well throughout their career. You can see it in all sports. Whoever's the most successful tends to get a little more support from the crowd. A firm strike from Duda. With the serve. And for the first time in a while, Duda and Lise Meyer just edging in front. Back up. Another service ace, though. This time it's with a service fault. Down the line. Juliana is underneath it. High set in the middle, but will cushion the ball too long. Held on to it. I haven't seen one of those calls so far today, or yesterday, in fact. It's called a hold. It's a tough call. Juliana is scattering away to her left to keep the point going. And firing one down the line brilliantly. Kept alive by Duda. Can she finish the point off? No, she can't. It's an amazing block from Juliana. Oh, what a high quality point that was. Juliana, though, just using maybe her experience here. What a diving dig from Duda. Couldn't find a way past Juliana, though. I set, just helped down the line. Again, a bit of confusion from Lima and Juliana of where each one of them was. With the high set, just allows a player to negotiate and think about where they're going to go with the spike and where their opponent is set up. And the high set this time, Juliana. Oh, look at the accuracy on that. There wasn't that much margin down the line but she was able to just dissect the ball between the post and the blocker there we go look at that right onto the line as well Lima Duda then will attack this one the set there was just a little too far away from the net and that's a bullet from Lima monstrous spike and it's 15 all. Flip a coin for this one, really. Fourth seeds against the fifth seeds. And there is just nothing to separate them. But it has been quality. It's been worthy of a final so far, though the curse of the commentator getting in the way there as Lima hits that serve into the net. Attack down the middle. Backpedaling was Elise Meyer. Frustration on the face of Duda. 16 all. She may be 17, but she's a fierce competitor. So 
the left. Very much the business end then of this set. Duda hits it hard and low. Lima though with a chance to run up here. Duda alert to the little dink short and then finishing the point off herself. Off the back foot, guiding it into the open space. And the fifth seeds go back up two points. Dig from Duda using her long, long limbs to get there. Lima just took a little deflection off Felize Maya, but did enough to get it over the fingertips of her opponent. set just kept alive by Lima we'll go up to try and steal it but that is awesome blocking from Duda and again the players getting the fans going as if they need to get going Being thoroughly entertained by this exceptional beach volleyball final Brazil versus Brazil, and it's the fifth seed to lead the fourth seed to 19-17 as a timeout is called by Lima and Juliana. It's a chance to get themselves back level that point, but it would have been a body blow that Duda read there what Lima was trying to do. Both of these teams won't be involved in Rio. So Brazil is just loaded with talent on both sides of the men and the women. <laughs> and they can, of course, pick up plenty of prize money here in Fortaleza along with the gold medals on offer. They give themselves some momentum to take into next season as well. It's not the best of receptions from Lima. They're just going to have to help this one over, but it's clever from Lima. And now it's Duda and Elise Meyer scrapping, but they scrap hard and well and win the point and are now a point away from taking the opening set. It's a big nick off the net, and there is the opening set. And it goes the way of Elise Meyer and Duda, the fifth seeds. Have outplayed and outscored the experienced duo of Juliana and Lima. What a set from the 17-year-old and the 31-year-old. Are they going to add the Fortaleza Open to the Maceo Open that they won just a, a few weeks ago? Here is the statistics from that opening set. One more attack, two aces as well. The opponent errors, not too many of them. It's high quality stuff from both teams. The majority of the rallies certainly being won. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. Well, the crowd being entertained in between the sets. As they are non-stop at all of these World Tour events. Oh, they need to react here, Lima and Juliana. They lost the, uh, the first set in their semi-final, but 
and uh, went on a fine run at the start of the second set against Rebecca and Lily. And I'll be hoping to do the same here. They are true fighters. Both of them with so much experience, they'll have been in this situation a number of times before. Particularly Juliana. Lise Meyer, that, where will she go with this one? Puts it long. The right shot to go for, the space was down the middle, but can't find the court. It's a good start by Lima and Juliana. Maya, clever, beautifully controlled. Just waited a fraction there to see Lima jump. And just beautifully lobbing it over her. That's brilliantly done. Oh, and almost made it. That would have been fabulous. Elise Meyer kept the point alive, and Duda on the stretch couldn't quite sneak it. Look at this, though. Turned around, got her hand on it. She wouldn't have been able to see much of the ball, really. Just stick the hand out and hope, and it struck the ball. Duda, though, unable to find the court. That would have been some point, had she? A reverse set from Lima. Lise Maya underneath it though, and that's precision from the older of the two Brazilians. Using the knuckle. And Lima could only get a hand to it, but couldn't control it. That's a wonderful serve too from Duda. Momentum again with the team who took the first set. The fifth seeds take the lead for the first time in the second set. The that one has gone just long. A long look at it for both Duda and Elise Meyer. Very, very close. Points being given though to Lima and Juliana. It's for all. So a little scrappy. It's a great diving dig from Lima. Who's going to win this point? It will be Duda and Elise Meyer. What a diving dig though from Lima to keep them alive, but she just touched the net as she came down there. Shame really. on to Lima with the angle right onto the head of Elise Meyer and the cap coming off Elise Meyer looking to go down the line and they side out. Finds the line. High set. Juliana clinical with the angled spike. Duda underneath. 
but so good at controlling those serves, making it look easy every time. Lima, fingertips from Elise Meyer, which help. Juliana, Lima now with an angle to use. Instead goes down the line, but it was touched, or was it? Elise Meyer cannot quite believe that that decision's been given against her. A look at this one, and I'm not sure whether this angle will tell us. Tough to tell there, isn't it? Either way, it could be a big decision. There's been so little to separate these teams in what we've seen so far, but able to put that decision behind her. Duda with the angled hit winger. set Juliana with the angle and hits it across into the corner beautiful cross-court hit from Juliana excellent block and then the fingertips are there from Duda so quick to react, he's so alert all the time. The 17 year old, when you consider that she's this good at 17, you wonder, a couple more years of experience, just how good she will be. Could well turn into being one of the dominant players of beach volleyball. She has a, a career like Juliana, she'll have uh, something special as Lima hammers one down the line to side out. down low. Elise Meyer can attack down the middle of the court. Choose either way. Just got there before Juliana at the net. Can use the, the fact that she's got a couple of inches on her. Just prod it over her, her arms as she goes up for the block. Hit hard and I think Juliana was just looking to leave that. Swerved and dipped. Terrific serve, you have to say, from Elise Meyer. Look at that, that's an excellent angle, isn't it? In terms of how it just swerves at the last second to one of the players, and Juliana trying to get out of the way of it. Just catching it. Despite the dive, it's too good. Technical timeout then, it's Elise Meyer and Duda who lead. Incidentally, uh, the women's side of things in Brazil, they've uh, had a lot of joy playing in this country. 59 gold medals Brazil have collected. They will, of course, collect their 60th today, which will mean they have twice as many as their next closest rivals of winning gold in Brazil, which is the USA, who have 30. Also, it was Talita and Larissa who won in Vitoria. Uh, with Brazil certain to win here, it will mean that they have won five out of the last six golds that have taken place in Brazil. And of course, they'll be desperate to make it six out of seven in Rio at the Olympics this year. Haven't dominated so much on the uh, men's side. Also, Bruno and uh, Alison won in Vitoria. But before that, Four events in a row that were won by non Brazilians. Of course, they could win the gold today as well on the men's side. Andre and Oscar going for it. Taking on the German team of Erdmann and Matic. That match follows this one.
The battle at the net. And it is won by Elise Meyer. And they are winning more and more of those duels as they edge closer and closer to the gold medal. to serve goes down the middle Juliana is there high set by Lima and an excellent use of the knuckle Elise Meyer just uh, I think feeling that she was impeded or at least touched by the leg of Juliana there but in the referees siding with the more experienced duo of uh, Juliana and Lima let's have a look at this one that's a tough call Fiercely struck serve by Lima. Too fierce for Duda to cope with. Back to a one point game in this second set. Great jumping serve and, and so much speed and dip on it. As I say, Duda throughout this match has controlled those serves really well. The majority of the time and made it look easy. Just like that. Such a composed and complete player does Duda. Already at 17. Nothing seems to affect her either. In fact, this is a gold medal match in Brazil. Juliana from the angle. Didn't have much to work with. Did enough. And they're able to side out. See, they're hitting the uh, the post that holds the net up. Juliana, and he's a Maya underneath it. High set. Lima reads the play. And has the chance to finish it off herself and does. Fires one down the middle, and it's 14 all in the second set. And Duda and Elise Maya have called a timeout. Or have they? No, they haven't. They're just changing ends, my fault. But no fault here. Crunching hit. Lise Meyer able to get Lima on the stretch. And Lise Meyer and Duda side out. Feels like they've led for a long time in this second set. Yeah. A real loss to take if they were to lose it. The momentum would be all with Juliana and Lima. Can still feel that the crowd supporter are just about with Juliana and Lima, a little more so than Lise Meyer and Duda. And down the middle, Elise Meyer. Oh, that is supreme. Slaps it into the sand. No chance for either Juliana or Lima on that occasion. Go down the line, nick off the net, Lima plays it. I think it was going to land in the court. It's a scrap and it's a point to Duda. And Elise Maya, Lima is complaining here that she felt that it wasn't her touch that hit the post. She's got a point. In all honesty, it should have been a point to Lima and Juliana. Instead, it goes to Duda and Elise Meyer. That could be significant as a timeout is called. So little in this gold medal matchup. Remember, it was Rebecca and Lily who won the bronze earlier on. Se ela dá uma furada lá na, na outra, boa bola dela, mas aquela bola não pode passar. Entendeu? É, esse é o jogo, cara. Tem que ir, marcar o que ela faz de melhor. E a outra bola a gente tenta buscar. Beleza, vamos virar essa bola e voltar pro jogo. Vambora. Some intense discussion on that bench. It's a little quieter. The more serene on the Elise Meyer and Duda bench. It's probably though because of the scoreboard. They're up a set and they're up two points. And they're only four points away from claiming a second gold medal as a pair. Well, 
Elise Maidu this time on serve. Lima underneath it. Juliana. Lima again just about gets it away from Elise Maia at the net and they side out. Reverse set from Juliana. It's very close to the net, so did well just to control it. Set the play up. Elise Maia going to attack this one, gets enough on it. Or does she? No. I beg your pardon, from the angle I was looking at, I thought that had come off the arms of Juliana. Instead, it's hit the top of the net and gone wide. So that's a mistake. 17 all. It could be a very costly one. As I say, Duda and Elise Meyer have led almost through the entirety of this set. That is clinical. Very little margin for error there. Finds the line. They're now three points away. It's a battle. Oh, lovely hand skills from Elise Maya. Well, I criticised her a few moments ago for missing the spike. But she makes up for it there. In the right place was Duda. Not only did she receive it she puts it in play for her partner with just two touches and now just two points away juliana put a lot behind that one but it comes back it's all a little tight and close to the net duda's there again duda now leaning back this is a fabulous rally who's going to win it juliana and lima are felt that it was a must win rally They're able to win it. Had they lost it, they would have been staring three match points in the face. As it is, they're a point away. Will that be the turning point in this match? And that's not going to help. Just feel the momentum may have shifted after the previous point. That's disappointing from Lima. Shows the fine margins in this match, though. An inch higher. It would have been a service ace. As it is, it's match point to Duda and Elise Meyer. Juliana, it's wide. And it's gold for Elise Meyer and Duda. And look what it means to them. After winning at the Maiseo Open in Brazil, they win in Brazil again, this time in Fortaleza. It's their second gold as a duo, and you think just a second of many, many more. What a performance from the 17-year-old Duda. Supported superbly well by the 31-year-old Elise Meyer. They win the gold and they defeat Juliana and Lima in straight sets in the final. Sheer delight for Brazil. Well, we knew before this one it was going to be gold, silver and bronze for Brazil. But we now know who gets the gold, silver and bronze. It's Duda and Elise Meyer who get the gold. Juliana and Lima have to settle for silver this time. And it's Lily and Rebecca who win the bronze. This is the uh, statistics that we've seen from uh, what was a really exciting and high quality final. Duda and Elise Meyer just a little better on the attacks. Winning 26-22. Uh, Joy on their faces right now. And they are currently over with Jason Day, and he's speaking to them. Yes, they'll have to wait about an hour before they can get their hands on those gold medals. The uh, awards ceremony will follow 
the men's final, which uh, incidentally is in about a quarter of an hour on this court. But it is Duda and Elise Meyer who have won the gold here on centre court. And these are some of those highlights of what, has, what was a fabulous final. Um beijo, obrigada a Concept, um beijo para meu pai, para minha mãe, para toda a minha família, para minha avó. Um beijo que mi, a minha filhada linda, minha mãe, meu pai, minha avó, tá aí, todo mundo se liga só você. Rony, obrigada. Bruna, Liamar, Xande, tamo junto, vamos nessa, tá só começando essa vitória. Beijo.